Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if Windows 10 is stuck on checking for updates. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot, Best match to go back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to scroll down here until you get to underneath get up and running. Select Windows Update, resolve problems that will bring you from updating Windows, and then select run the troubleshooter. Okay, so see if it was able to resolve any problems in here. So if not, you might have to restart your computer and then attempt to see if your issue has been resolved. If not, another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to open up the start menu. Type in CMD, best manager should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in NET space stop space w u a u s e r v so again n e t followed by a space stop s t o p space w u a u s e r v hit enter on your keyboard should it be stopping the windows update service and now you want to type in n e t space stop space bits so again net space stop space bits hit enter on your keyboard now both of these services should be stopped successfully if you are not getting that or it says that the command cannot be found or the path can't be found re-watch this video and then just make sure you're typing in exactly as it appears on my screen because you're probably spelling it wrong or you have an extra space or something like that so once you've that done you can go ahead and close out of the command prompt and we're going to open up the start menu, type in File Explorer. That's match to come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side and now go underneath whatever drive Windows is installed on. So more than likely it's going to have a little Windows icon above the hard drive and it should say Local Disk. Go ahead and double click on that. Now you want to go double click on the Windows folder and now locate the Software Distribution folder in here. So scroll down double click on that now you want to select everything in here so just highlight over everything so just drag your mouse highlight over all the selections here right click over all the folders and then left click on delete once you're done with that you can close out of here now you want to go ahead and open up the start menu again type in CMD 
Best match to come back with command prompt. Right click on that. Left click on run as administrator. Select yes. And now we're going to type in NET space start. S T A R T space W U A U S E R V. So again, net start W U A U S E R V. Hit enter on your keyboard. It should be starting up the Windows Update service. And the next command, we're going to be starting the background intelligence transfer service. So we're going to type in NET space start space BITS. So again, NET space start space BITS. Hit enter on your keyboard. Again, everything should say starting and started successfully. If not, you probably spelled something incorrectly here. So go ahead and close out of here. Was it just restarting your computer? And then check for updates once again, and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.